Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Spark. Spark. I go by the name Spark Nero, by the way. So, guys, in a chill form, you understand? Chill, guys. You know, this is a new year. And I promise you guys, I'm going to be releasing bangers on bangers. I'm going to be releasing videos, if possible, every day. It's just that I'm caught up with work and everything, and editing, editing just to take time. But I'll try my best and I'll be releasing every fucking day, bro. Feel me? You know, last year I told you guys I've been focusing on my music, feel me? On my music. Um, but I've not found anything doing with my music. So I'm like going back to school very soon. So I want to start YouTube so that four years staying in school, instead of staying in school doing nothing, I can use it to entertain and get something off it feel me guys so please subscribe subscribe right now so Sus just, just subscribe yeah 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 i know yeah 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 this side this side subscribe let's get to this video so today i'm going to be reacting to top 10 real life gang sorry top 10 notorious real life gang is brutal bro very very brutal believe me brutal 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 let's get to the video huh these, these are, are the, the baddest, baddest of the bad, bad. Welcome, welcome to, to watch, watch mojo, mojo. And, today and today we're counting, counting down, down our picks for the top 10 notorious, notorious real life gangs for this list we're looking at organized crime groups and gangs that have garnered particularly nasty or notorious reputations over the years we're taking into account gangs from around the world so as long as their reputations precede them in a particularly infamous way number 10 the moon geeky the <laughs> moon geeky moon geeky is like a monkey open with one of the more recent gangs on our list a mysterious and secretive sect known no one does the least moon geeky. The aim of this group seems but to be tied to fiercely rejecting Western influence and promoting the return of He's an African leaders, gang. Attracting oh. a remarkable <laughs> number of young people, the Mungiki also African gang in such criminal activity as extortion Kenya. and murder. All the while displaying that means that a place is a fucking dangerous place. Attitude. I'm from Nigeria. We have dangerous gang over here, but Kenya, that means it's not a safe place. Of the other way. No go area. Let's get to the video. The police not moved in swiftly. The situation would have been more worse than uh, what was seen there. Number nine, triads. The Chinese. I ain't scared of them. I can never be scared of uh, white Chinese gang. I can't. Period. The term triad is often look scary. used as a blanket term for Chinese organized crime, but the truth behind this gang, or association of gangs, is much more complex. The triads are branches of a very large and diverse overarching Chinese crime syndicate, with especially strong operations in Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. The everyday business of the triads has included everything from smuggling and forgery to pornography, kidnapping, and murder. Man, I see no reason to be in the gang. I see no reason to be in any kind of gang. It doesn't matter the gang. Just live your life simple, bro. Live a simple life. Gang free, Illuminati free, hustle on your own, bro, to make the dollar bro. Simple. Period. Yeah, we sold it to Tim. He's using it for his parade float. It's the Chinese New Year. Number eight, the Sinaloa Cartel. Well, this is the tunnel that Joaquin and Chapo Guzman came out of. We're Live a simple life. Take. Don't do gang. Don't take look. guns. Drugs are the name of the game when it comes to the Sinaloa Cartel, a notorious Mexican outfit that specializes in trafficking and money laundering. Cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamines have all made their way into the United States thanks to the Sinaloa Cartel and its former head, El Chapo Guzman. The DEA even named the cartel as the most active smuggling and trafficking operation when it came to getting large amounts of these illicit drugs into neighborhoods across the country. Bribery, extortion, and murder are also high on their laundry list. Their bloody rivalry with Mexico's Tijuana cartel has resulted in deadly shootouts throughout the country. Although, with El Chapo in a U.S. jail as of 2019, the narco-trafficante landscape is always shifting. 
Often the violence is one cartel against another, or just as likely, it's violence between different factions of the same cartel. Number seven, Hell's Angels. The Hell's Angels here in Washington have been involved in things from uh, stolen motorcycles, trafficking in stolen property. There are a number of outlaw motorcycle groups around the world, but arguably none of them with a reputation as fierce as the Hell's Angels. The specific origins of the group are up for debate, but the Angels' profile rose tremendously during the 1960s and 70s, coinciding with the era's drug, rock, and counterculture activities. Hey, listen, man, this is for uh, members only, huh? While authorities have tackled the gang's extensive involvement in prostitution, drug trafficking, and murder, the group maintains that any criminal actions do not reflect the club as a whole, but instead are the actions of bad apples, and claim fundraising and charity efforts Hells Angels have sponsored as proof. They Man, these sneakers, they look like Ghost Rider. People want to be around them. Number six, they look like Ghost Rider. Aryan Brotherhood. Surviving any prison system is challenging and they complex, change. and this next gang on our list keeps it that way. The Aryan Brotherhood features members both in and out of the prison system, with their influence stretching far beyond walls, barbed wire fences, and armed guards. The white supremacist group focuses on day-to-day -day criminal activities within various prisons, including inmate prostitution, drug smuggling, and assault. They've also been known to put out murder contracts on those living on the outside. Guess you couldn't handle a fair fight, huh? Fair is for losers. I'd rather win. These neo-Nazis have been a common focus in film and television, being featured on such shows as Sons of Anarchy and HBO's Oz, as well as the film American History X. Number five, Bloods and Crips. These wars go Who don't know them? Who don't know them? It's likely you've heard we of the Bloods them. and the Crips, even if you're not familiar we with all the know them. underworld. We know Their them. Their well-known feud, with both gangs fighting for supremacy of their Los Angeles turf, has received a lot of play. The Crips are slightly older, having been established in 1969 via an alliance between leaders Raymond Washington and Stanley Tukey Williams. Early incarnations of the Bloods were adversarial to Washington and Williams even back then, while today that relationship has become something akin to a deadly gangland legend. Indeed, the Bloods and Crips are among the most violent of gangs in the United States, engaging in everything from robbery and prostitution to murder. Pizza, Number four, Los Zetas. The Zetas have moved in. They are Mexico's most violent, most depraved, most feared crime cartel. This Mexican cartel was formed when deserting Mexican soldiers sought out employment as hired muscle for one of the country's oldest criminal organizations, the Gulf Cartel. It wasn't until 2010 that Los Santos officially struck out on the I don't know anything about these guys. The I don't know anything about these guys. Still, the group Not has ten. managed to cause quite a stir despite their relatively Not recent appearance ten, in the world bro. radio. Los Zetas have been efficiently brutal in their dealings with rivals, utilizing beheadings and execution to punctuate their empire of sex trafficking, protection rackets, drugs, and murder. As the original leadership has been picked off, however, they have lost some of their effectiveness. The amount of weaponry, grenades, grenade launchers that are available to the set as and are utilized by them. It's just unbelievable. Number three, MS-13, also known as Mara Salva Trucha. What distinguishes them from other gangs is that they are violent for violence's sake. Speaking of Los Zetas, the next gang on our list was actually employed by that group to fight against their rivals. The members of Mara Salva Trucha, or MS-13, were likely hired for this purpose due to the reputation of vicious violence that precedes them in the criminal underworld. Members of MS-13 are often heavily tattooed and are primarily of Central American descent, specifically from El Salvador. Yeah, they recruit folks, I know them. Uh, in communities. Uh, they do have these tattoos. M who are recently S. Uh, to this country M illegally and legally. S. Ironically, MS-13 originally intended to protect yes, LA-based Salvadorans against other it. local gangs at the time. Today, however, the crimes of MS-13 uh, this nigga is as skinny as hell. trafficking to the most unspeakable crime of all, I don't want to be child prostitution. Yo al verme en un espejo, yo nunca creí que podía cambiar habiendo servido a esas actividades del mal, a esa venga, a esa pandilla. Number two, the Yakuza. En yo este momento, si no hay una cosa que me ha hecho, me ha hecho, me ha hecho, me ha hecho, me ha hecho. The Yakuza is another gang primarily known for their operations in one country, in this case Japan, but which is actually active on an international scale. The Yakuza origins date all the way back to the 1600s, and even today harbor a strict code of behavior and ritual that ties into this time period. 
full body tattoos are also not uncommon within Yakuza culture, while the group is notable for their semi legitimate business ventures within Japanese society. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not understanding what they're saying, but they're writing it down. Various clans within the Yakuza hierarchy have been known to delve into everything from sex trafficking and loan sharking to gun running, although street-level crimes like armed robbery tend to be shunned by the group. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, the Sicilian Mafia. The Mafia has no goal other than to enrich itself and to get power. Although the Sicilian Mafia, also known as La Cosa Nostra, isn't the only organized crime syndicate in Italy. The Camorra in Naples is another notorious group. It's inarguably the most famous. This is thanks to the wealth of cinematic representations the Mafia has received over the years in films like Goodfellas, Casino, and The Godfather franchise. The structure of La Cosa Nostra has shifted somewhat over the years, but generally revolves around the dividing of power between various familial groups. While they wax and wane, clan rivalries and violence have always been par for the course, with many gangland shootings drawing front-page news. Other illegal activities of the Mafia have included extortion, racketeering, smuggling, and prostitution. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Guys, guys, I have nothing to say, but best advice from me, from your niggas, Pagniru, never you do gang, never you be in the gang, just stay safe, play your card well, as long as you're not in the gang, you're not the Illuminati, you're safe. Play your life. Just live your life. Manage the little you have. You feel me? Don't take guns. Don't carry guns. I grew up on the streets. I'm living in the streets right now. Right where I am, I'm in the streets. But you feel me? You have to lie low because to live in the street is noisy. So never you be in the gang. Stay safe. Corona has gone, so just stay safe. Lastly. Subscribe guys, subscribe, subscribe, let's go.